many of the RVs of the 30s were very futuristic and very much Art Deco. We're going to see one of the most famous brands coming up on History on Wheels. Hi, welcome to History on Wheels here on RV News Net at RVNN.TV. I'm Dave Dufour and we're at the RVMH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana and with me is historian Al Hesselbart uh, who is here to talk to us about uh, this particular vehicle which is very art deco, very uh, futuristic and yet it was built in the 1930s, correct? Yes, this is a 1937 Hunt house car, mm -hmm. a production brand low volume but production built by Hollywood cinematographer Roy Hunt for over 10 years. Okay, so how about how many of these were built? Someplace around 50 overall okay. in the 10 years. But it, is, but it is a true RV and it's built on what kind of a chassis? It's a 1937 Ford truck okay. and that's very obvious to car collectors. The grill and the headlights are in their original position okay. and are the features of that Ford truck. Okay, and it's very, it does has a very, very uh, interesting look. It reminds me of, uh, if you've ever seen Bucky Fuller's Dymaxion car, it kind of has, has that same kind of look and feel. I don't know who copied who in that particular case, but uh, uh, it, it does have that feeling and it's very aerodynamic, I would think. It, it's 30 streamlining mm -hmm. and many of those 30s builders considered this bubble shape to be the most streamlined effect. Okay, um, and how did this come into the collection? This unit was part of the collection of David Woodworth, the preeminent early RV collector, whose collection was purchased for the museum by industry icon Boots Ingram. Okay, so how w w did this vehicle come, when, when, when uh, Woodworth um, uh, acquired it, was, did this vehicle require a lot of uh, restoration? Was it a mess or did he get one in pretty good shape? Now, he actually found this vehicle in a scrap yard. Wow. It had been converted in the 50s or 60s, I presume, into a hippie mobile. <laughs> it was painted black and orange tiger stripes, had an entire shag carpet interior, and the carpet was covered with mattresses for some reason. That sounds like the <laughs> 70s hippie vans to me, doesn't it? That's pretty amazing. But uh, it's been restored, and it's uh, it's beautiful outside. It's got the uh, pretty much the original look and feel finish on the outside. And uh, we're going to take a look inside after the break. Today's show is brought to you by Roku, the streaming video box for your HD or conventional TV. With Roku, you get the best programs from dozens of sources, including Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Video, and of course, RVNN.TV. Roku starts at only $59.95, it's easy to set up, and you'll be amazed at the quality and variety of on-demand TV at your fingertips. For more information and to order the Roku box, visit rvnewsnet.com and click on the Roku ad. That way you support RVNN and you'll Roku in your home or RV in no time. Do you Roku? Hi, welcome back to History on Wheels on RV News Net at RVNN.TV. Uh, I'm here with Al Hesselbart, the historian at the uh, RVMH Hall of Fame Museum, and we're inside a Hunt house car built in 1937. Uh, the exterior, which we just looked at, is very uh, uh, Art Deco, streamlined, has that uh, real futuristic look that uh, what well, was futuristic uh, in the 30s and still has a really futuristic look to it even today, but it's a very, very interesting vehicle. Uh, the interior uh, doesn't leave a whole lot of room to dance, though, does it? No, it, it's rather crowded, much like today's van campers and, and bee vans, but it certainly shows all of the personality of the middle 30s. Stained glass shades on the lamps. Mm -hmm. uh, things like the original electric razor, which was a standard feature of this unit. Now, should I try that out? I wouldn't. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> that it actually is. It says it's an electric. This was this was uh, billed as in part of the advertising for this vehicle that you got an electric razor that was uh, you could get it wet and plug it in, right? Uh, I'm not sure getting it wet worked very well. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyhow, uh, but it does make excellent use of the space uh, and and is very ingenious in the way that it does it, doesn't it? It actually has all of the features of today's small camping vehicles. Mm -hmm. It has a stove, a refrigerator. It has a sink with running water. It has a pantry. It has dining table and all of the features to be comfortable and even comes with a toaster. Great. Oh, yeah, that has the old-fashioned toaster there. The, um, the the bathroom has a kind of a futuristic look to it. I'm looking across at it right now with that silver uh, uh, silver sink bowl there. And, of course, the, the bathroom is the shower, is the, uh, is the uh, place to clean up and stuff. But everything kind of disappears uh, into the wall depending on what kind of... Uh, of activity you're engaged in in the restroom to put it delicately very very much so the sink is a pullman railroad car sink uh-huh uh, which you filled with water and did your washing and then you folded it up to drain it down a drain the toilet is a chamber pot toilet you had to dump it after you used it but it entirely disappears into the wall to give you the same floor space to have a shower. Okay. Now the back end here, of course, the one thing that I've noticed too, and, and it's very typical of a lot of these older vehicles, that uh, the the woodworking is is very uh, is just is just beautiful and very well done in in a lot of cases. So we're seeing uh, some uh, either birch or oak or a combination of the two all the way around here as well, aren't we? Yes, it gives it a very light, airy interior for a rather enclosed space. Now, now, tell me about driving this vehicle. You were talking about that with us a little bit before the show, and uh, there's sort of a trick to it, isn't there? Or maybe maybe a real big trick to it. There's a pretty big trick. It It is built on a 37 Ford pickup truck. Mm -hmm. But in order to give this shape, the steering wheel and driver's seat were moved forward, leaving the gear shift behind the driver. So that makes it sort of a, a little bit of a contortionist job to shift gears. You have to concentrate very hard. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us uh, today on uh, uh, History on Wheels and for showing us this uh, 1937 Hunt house car. Uh, I'm Dave Dufour, and uh, thanks for joining us, and thanks for, thanks for helping us out, Al. We're glad to have you here. Today's show is brought to you by Angie's List, where you'll find thousands of unbiased reports and reviews about service companies in your area. Whether you're looking for a roofer, plumber, house cleaner, dentist, or even a doctor, Angie's List members share their experiences with each other so that you can choose the service company that's right for your job. Companies can't pay to be on Angie's List, and the reviews come from people just like you who have had experience with the companies mentioned. To find out more, go to rvnn.tv and click on the Angie's List ad.